These photocopiers will be taken apart, then recomposed into gleaming brass trumpets. Sims disassembles, chops, and shreds the photocopiers to mine the copper inside. Copy machines contain lengths of copper wiring found in the power supply and in the copper windings of motors. The average photocopier contains about five pounds of salvageable copper. Operators pull out the ink cartridges and toners to prevent dust from compromising the air quality in the plant and the purity of the copper. A forklift loads the copiers onto a heavy-duty conveyor. The copiers travel through a series of shredders and sorting stations that rip and shear the machines into bits of metal and plastic. Olin Brass is an Illinois refinery that uses almost 90% recycled scrap metal to produce copper alloys. A foundry worker mixes 70% recovered copper and 30% zinc, the formula for making yellow brass and the standard for most brass instruments. Sheet and solid stock brass arrive at trumpet maker S.E. Shire's workshop in Hopedale, Massachusetts. A craftsman traces the shape of the bell on a brass sheet and cuts it out with electric shears. Then he folds the sheet in half over a form. He applies a brass alloy to bond the edges of the fold, forming the bell blank. An impact machine forms the bell. The size and shape of the bell determines the tone and volume of the projected sound. The craftsman mounts the bell on a lathe. He uses a spinning tool to round out the shape. Then, he smooths the rim's jagged edge. He places the bell on a bending block and curves the tube. This trumpet in progress is now one step closer to the bandstand.